sweet, plump berries that we all love and we all adore, especially around summertime. I'm talking about strawberries. Uh, this is Phillips five piece strawberry plant. You are getting five live plants in two and a half inch pots uh, for $25.17. You can grow these in, uh, in the ground, you can grow them in a pot, but the point is you will get your berries, those beautiful, sweet, delicious strawberries this summer. We were talking about instant gratification, Philip, and this yes, is one that is going to make me feel good about myself immediately when I plant it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, and these are so sweet, and, and these are Montana ever-bearing strawberries. That means that they don't just fruit the one time in the spring, You've got fruiting all during the course of the summer and into the fall, uh, but great, great oh. plants. Again, this is where the science comes into the productivity. You've got bigger berries. Look at that, fabulous. Goodness, I wish you could smell this with, at home. It's the smell of summer, content. really, Philip. Yes, and you get five of these, and you buy strawberries in, in the store, and back in, in my day, and even still now, they would sell bundles of uh, bare root strawberries. These are not bare root strawberries. But let me come down around here since we're not zooming in over here either. Um, but this is the way that they're gonna come to you. And you see, they're already sending out runners, which is great. And I'm gonna take one plant out of here so you have some notion about what one of them looks like. That's look. just one plant? This is one and look, see every <gasps> little white bloom makes a strawberry look. They're the strawberries that are coming from the earlier Look bloom. at those sweet this, little berries already growing. Full sun for strawberries. You can have a traditional uh, strawberry patch or you can do them in a, in a container, which is great. Very cold, hardy, but these also work down in Florida. They're fine. They, they love, love the heat. They love the sun. And um, as I mentioned, Montana ever bearing. And I am going to Montana in three weeks. Are you? I'm working on a, I'm working on a big public garden in Kalispell, Montana, which is the, the gateway to Glacier Park. So I get to go out there and, and hang out in Montana, but these are tough. Big sky country should produce big strawberry. And that's what we've got because these will be I mean... very productive from <laughs> Aspen to Orlando. These are perennial. That means they come back. That means they're guaranteed for an entire year also. And you can have them in a container or the traditional strawberry patch that I grew up with. Each plant can get one feet by one feet. They will cascade over Ooh. and you'll have that delicious fruit, high yield, great production. Philip, what do you like to have uh, that's made with strawberries? Because I immediately think, um, now I'm not from the trouble. South, but my, <laughs> my, my grandparents are from the South and the way that I grew up eating strawberry shortcake, I grew up eating strawberry shortcake with a biscuit. What about you, Philip? Yeah. I want a strawberry well, shortcake with a nice biscuit, wh fresh whipped cream, and those delicious strawberries. What do you like with, with your strawberries? Well, okay, let me just tell you. When I'm in high school, my first job that I had on my own, not working for a family member, was at a Shoney's. We had Shoney's down in Mississippi, and they, were, they had strawberry pie. And Ooh. I would serve that strawberry pie through the drive-in window. The people would come by to get their strawberry pie. That's all I want today, just a strawberry pie, and go on their merry way. And so any time that I had no customers there, I was my own customer because I was eating what I was supposed to be selling. And there's nothing that says summer like strawberries. It's the and truth. Strawberry pie from oh my goodness, that is such a that's such a fun memory. Listen, I mean, we don't, you don't have to make anything. Let's just be real here. I mean, when you are growing your own strawberries, you know where they've been, where they come from. Why don't you just take them off the vine, pop them in your mouth? That's the way you should do it, and you'll be able to do that right in the comfort of your own garden. That is so cool. It's real important to me, something that you can grow yourself uh, because you know, a lot of these strawberries and, and fruits in general are, are coming from maybe some country you've never heard of. You have no idea what it's been sprayed with, who's been handling it, yeah. what, what they fertilized it with. This is clean. This is from your garden. This is clean and convenient. Right. Also, it shows the kids where it came from. And because 
it's ever bearing. It's always got the white blooms coming, the beautiful foliage, so and the pretty. strawberries that are cascading <laughs> as, as as they're now. These are the young berries that are just starting. But you can have it in your centerpiece. If you're outside and you got your, your mandevilla over here, you might have your strawberries here too, and maybe you made a strawberry pop. Oh, and there it all is. It's those sorts of things that people don't forget. You don't have to serve them a banquet. You serve them something memorable. You oh, did this. Yes. Over 100 yeah. have been uh, picked up since we started this conversation. Just want to briefly talk about the care. Um, you said feed them and they will feed you. What are we feeding these bad boys, <laughs> Philip? Be sure to pick up my time release fertilizer because it's very easy and you'll have success. I fertilize these when I first get them. I fertilize them mid-season, then I fertilize them again on Labor Day. That's what I do. And um, people have, have responded so beautifully to the fertilizer, and I think it's because a lot of people had never fertilized before. I finally made it easy. That's the trick. Make it ah, easy. That's why we easy. have the strawberries that, that fruit all the time. It's like, okay, I gotta rush out there because I'm only gonna do it in, in late spring. No, these are ever bearing Montana strawberries. You get five plants in this collection. Each Oof. one can get one feet wide, a, a, a one square foot. So that's a lot of coverage. Think about it. And they even get bigger than that. That's just the first season. Then they yeah. spread. That's a traditional strawberry jar that we're looking at. You can have them in a whiskey barrel and they'll cascade over the sides, or you can have your dedicated patch. I actually made a patch for one of my clients in front of their rose beds. Oh, um, my and goodness. And it was beautiful. I can't take I it. had the strawberries down on the ground in the sunny area, and then behind them beautiful were all the roses. roses. Oh, Just my beautiful. goodness. And they all like the same fertilizer, which was great. So if you're picking up the Brenda Bella roses, which are coming up, this is great. Also, the color looks so good with them. It does. Um, you know, Philip, I wanted to ask you, you also are giving our friends a one year limited warranty. Well, that really encourages us to shop with confidence, huh? Well, it's hardly limited since I don't ask any questions. <laughs> I want you to be happy. And all of the perennials are guaranteed for an entire year from the time of shipment. You can reach us at the num number on the screen or you can email your questions. Um, I've been on QVC for 29 years. Uh, I am a horticulturist. Um, I believe in the science behind the beauty, uh, and I'm going to stand behind this. Having my own brand has given me that opportunity, and I thank you for trusting Philip Watson Designs. Your item number once more, M82427. Remember, you're getting five pieces. Um, yes. Absolutely beautiful to look at, but so delicious to taste. $25.17 is your sale price. Shipping and handling always free yes you go to the, you go to the box stores and you'll find them in bundles not in pots all right now let's talk about this two-in-one buzz butterfly bush plant oh now this is new um really really beautiful